Okay, today is June 12th, 2014. I'm taking this video, or making this video, of my uh, five ton, so I can sell it on eBay. Uh, so let me give you a quick tour. I've got the engine compartment available right now, so we'll go take a look at that. It's an 8.3 Cummins. I believe it's supercharged and tu turbocharged. It's got the whistler sound to it. Uh, Allison automatic transmission. Let's look at the interior. It's a custom crew cab. The uh, paint job is about six months old on the exterior. And I just finished doing the interior with some help this weekend. So interior paint is brand new. So we got a nice black final seat in the back with three seat belts. Got three seat belts up front. Standard uh, military seats up front. Everything is in really good shape. Everything works on this truck. All the windows work. All the windows are good. All the glass is good. I have uh, little tabs welded here on all four doors to put a padlock if you want to lock all the doors uh, from the outside with a padlock. Uh, we've got the um, shortened 14 foot bed, shortened to 9 feet, drop side bed with troop seats. Of course it's the, the big tires, the Michelin 1620s here. Uh, some people say 53 inches, some people say 54, but they're big. Uh, it actually uh, makes the truck top speed a little bit higher, so it goes right around 69.70 on flat ground cruising. I've driven it long distances several times. I've owned this about a year and a half. Uh, never had a single problem with it, except for the problem of everybody looking at it which sometimes does become an issue because everybody stops to talk to you when you're trying to get out of town or do something in a hurry sometimes. It does have uh, dual tanks, both 53 gallon tanks because it used to be the semi truck. So not all of them have dual tanks. So that's kind of cool. Um, the uh, exhaust was lengthened and just brought out from underneath the cab up on the side mounted. I've, uh, this has all been professionally done. I've hired all, all the work out. The crew cab work was professionally done by a weld, weld shop here in Boise, Idaho called Weld Pro. And then um, Alex Gordon who owns um, IdahoMotorPool.com. He's done all the mechanical work and also did the short bed in the back for me and mounted it and he's done all the tune-ups and and everything that I needed to get done uh, just to make sure it was in tip-top shape after I purchased it from the Air Force so I'll show you a quick drive here uh, hand it to my wife 